The Cooking Gas Consumers Association of Nigeria has appealed to relevant authorities to incorporate more qualified liquefied petroleum gas marketers in a bid to enable cooking gas consumers have a more cheap and affordable commodity in their various homes. We'll have analysis of this ahead. Look at how the whole situation can be resolved. Also on The Breakfast, economists have expressed worry about the high cost of borrowing and its effect on local manufacturing. We'll look at these and all the concerns over government's handling of the economy. And in the Press, we bring you in-depth analysis of today's major newspaper headlines. All this ahead on The Breakfast. We're back with the Breakfast on Plus TV Africa and of course it's a beautiful Tuesday morning reaching you live from our studios right here on Victoria Island, Lagos. My name is Kofi Bartels. Uh, her, her name is Mercy. <laughs> of course, <laughs> I am Mercy Bopo. Yes, indeed. And compliment of the season. I mean, it's almost time to say, I know when, when we started the show, uh, when we started on the 1st of December, I started off by saying uh, Merry Christmas and it was really, I, I'm sure to some people, it was too early to say Merry Christmas, but Merry Christmas already. And uh, <laughs> well, 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 yeah, it's, 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 and all it's, of that it's, it's, is the it's season. Never too early. <laughs> Never too early. I'm sure, you know, negotiations will be the ones to make you remind you it's Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> this city. Anyway, um, we'll have our, our top training segment. Of course, a lot, a lot happening uh, in the social space. I mean, I'm looking at some of the comments regarding our first uh, story. And um, it's, uh, <laughs> it, it's interesting. Fake COVID-19 uh, um, test kits in circulation. Um, I, I have said in the past that, you know, the the uh, uh, national agency for the food for food and drug administration and control never was comfortable with that name you know but um they, they they we don't hear about them as much as we used to hear about them you know and uh, if i ask you who the head of nafdac is today can you tell me mercy off off of your head off your, the top of your head i mean there's nothing wrong if you can't tell me i just want to know if you can tell me no but that, that's not part of the conversation you know i'm just asking you know no okay I, I, fine I you, you can so, so anyway, it, it, the reason is we hardly hear of, of NAVDAC, you know, but this time around we're hearing uh, the agency, uh, it's in the news, you know, it's, it's rare, that's all I'm saying, compared to some time ago. Well, the National Agency of Food uh, and Drug Administration and Control, that's Nigeria's version of the FDA, it's uh, told the public that there are counterfeit COVID-19 antigen rapid test kits in circulation. Um, they have to release a public alert to reporters on Sunday in Abuja um, and the counterfeit BTNX incorporated COVID-19 rapid COVID-19 rapid antigen test kits uh, were communicated to NAVDAC by Health Canada. Health Canada, that's your own health, public health agency up there in Canada. Maybe if you end up back behind my space, you might be able to tell us some more from that side. <laughs> I know you want to go to Canada. Oh, God. Well, uh, NAFTA quoted uh, Health Canada is saying that the fake test kits were sold online uh, in in 25-pack boxes, is what they're saying. In 25-pack boxes, boxes by a distributor called Healthful Plus, who did not have the required uh, license. So that's that's it. That's it. Uh, uh, if you want to, so that, that's it. Messi, just tell us what you think about this. So, so I think that uh, the next question would be how did this get into the country, right? Uh, if we say that that's in circulation, how did we get, you know, the fake COVID-19 test kits in circulation? Because I know that we're not producing this, so it therefore means that we imported it. And if we imported it, um, how was it able, you know, to scale, I mean, come through um, come in and it's in the country and then it's in circulation. So it just tells, it tells a lot about, you know, um, the importation uh, policies, what have you or authorities governing all of that. It, it's, it just shows that there's a lacuna somewhere. Someone has failed at her duty or we are really not great in ensuring that we don't have substandard Th this this is just you know one out of so many um substandard uh, uh you know kids that will probably be coming now we're talking about kids but what are, what about all the products that come into the country that are substandard fake drugs and what have you so i think that we have a lot to do if we're able to you know guard 
um, the entrance, which would probably be how you know goods are imported, control at that particular point, the checks and the balances that would be it, uh, you know, for me. But it's quite unfortunate. This is, you know, this is in circulation. It's also a good thing to know that NAFTAC has drawn the attention of Nigerians to this particular one. All right. Um, well, we, we, I, I wouldn't want to add anything more to it than to say that um, we hope that the agency will uh, will do what it needs to do to to ensure that Nigerians are kept safe. Uh, it's good that we've done, you know, such a, a discovery and um, communicated same to to the public. Well, like, quickly, let's move on to another top trending. This talks about Elon Musk. Now, he took to Twitter yesterday. I look at the time, 12.20 a.m. That's when he took to Twitter to tweet. So, um, on Twitter, what he tweeted was this. Should I step down as head of Twitter? I will abide by the result of this poll. Eventually, the result came out. Final result with 17,502,391 17 votes. Uh, final result, that was it. The yes actually had it. So yes had 57% and the no had uh, 43%. Now he said he was going to abide by it. We understand all that's been happening, especially, you know, that Elon Marks seemed to be on top of the situation or be, you know, chatting the course for Twitter. Mm -hmm. Kofi, mm -hmm. what do you make of this? Well, uh, uh, it, it, it's, it's quite interesting um you know the the fact that uh, elon has been you know on top of things in, in twitter for some time uh since he bought he bought the organization i saw some some posts yesterday that said uh elon um uh, you know took a a 44 billion dollar crash course in um in the the difficulties and the dynamics of um, freedom of speech you know he's been a champion of freedom of speech as a matter of fact uh, He's been advocating for what you call a, uh, he says the freedom of speech, uh, speech uh, unapologetist, is what he calls it, uh, <laughs> freedom of speech unapologetist. <clears throat> so uh, it was in The Economist. Uh, so an article in The Economist this morning, uh, you know, while getting myself set to go to bed in the morning, he, they, they said the man had to learn a $44 billion crash course in the dynamics of um, public uh, freedom of speech in the public. You know, it's not really easy because this freedom of speech now according to the economist uh, comes with uh, uh, some sort of loss of, of, of certain rights of people you know it's not easy or possible to have freedom of speech without people losing their rights and Elon you know took over Twitter with an agenda uh, and so to observers who uh, are keen and know about these things uh, it was it was only going to be one way which is uh, if he had an agenda to prosecute uh, and he was going to be strict about that agenda you know having a my way and no other way approach it was only going to end one way disaster and it's been uh, quite disastrous to to put it mildly uh the handling of twitter by elon musk even those who are, who are proponents of this so-called free speech in other words what they mean when they say they are proponents of free speech is allow everything go allow anyone go uh say whatever they want to say don't ban, uh, you know, uh, Donald Trump. Don't ban Kanye West. Um, don't ban Breitbart and all those other persons who have been peddling uh, false information about things like COVID-19, false information about American elections, false information about uh, racism and all those things, and who have been, you know, sharing hate speech. Don't allow them go. Keep them on there because all those things are a part of of uh, freedom of speech. But what Twitter was saying before now, Mercy, this Twitter was a very simple uh, 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 and controversial less, uh, if you want to put it that way, organization. You know, you never even heard about the, 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 the owner of Twitter, Jack Dorsey, you hardly heard about him, except towards the end uh, of, of his, his tenure as owner of Twitter. I'll just go quickly to say that, um, you know, Jack, became a bit more of an activist towards the end of his, his reign on Twitter. But still, you, you could not associate him with any controversy. Even for the monetization of Twitter, they, they, they took a lot of time, you know, to, to, to set themselves on the right path. They were making loss for many years. They were making profit. I do not know if Twitter even made a significant profit at the time Jack Dorsey uh, saw Twitter, uh, you know, and left, rather, left the scene. You know, imagine the owner of uh, an organization you know, part owner, founder, he's saying, I'm leaving the organization, 
you know, so other people can handle it. I'm, I'm washing my hands of it. It's just the same thing like, uh, 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 what do you call it again? Um, Steve Jobs did in, in, in Apple. At some point, he had to leave, you know, different circumstances or, or, or beat. But so, so Twitter was quite, of, you know, quite a, a very simple organization without any controversy. Now, they have what they call Twitter community standards. And these community standards were set by everybody. It was a sort of democracy, a democratized platform where everyone could, could have a say. And it, it, everybody agreed on the Twitter community standards. Everyone you know, knew what the standards were. Uh, you're not allowed to peddle fake news. You're not allowed to share false information. Uh, things like racism you know, was not allowed. Things like anti-Semitism were not allowed. Um, so if you come in to say we're having freedom of speech and you want to allow everybody, um, I think it won't work. And this is the lesson that Elon Musk has learned. It's a $44 billion dollar. Uh, lesson because he had to pay that amount for the organization and he put out this uh, message like you said earlier this poll to and it's actually weird to say that whatever people say on Twitter is what he will stand by he had as at now as at the end of the poll it kind of you can see 17 million five hundred and two thousand uh, three hundred and ninety one votes that's more than the votes you have in some countries you know that's one of the votes you have in some countries and out of those uh, you have um, 57% uh, of that, those saying he should leave, uh, step down as CEO of Twitter, uh, and then 43 saying he should he should remain. It's it's quite interesting, but we have to move on. So anyway, um, uh, pff, let's see if he's going to take that bait and leave at the end of the day. He's not really announced last time I checked if he will remain or he will leave. But it's weird for. If this is even more of the weirdness. He is word for the CEO of an organization to say he is going to, to take a decision to take based decisions based on social media votes. It's, it's so weird. It is so weird. So this is even more of the absurdity and weirdness. You know this particular move. But if he steps down, I think it will be good for the organization <laughs> because it will allow Twitter to get back to a bit of what it was. You know, change is very good, Mercy. Change is very good. But if you talk about those who manage organizational change, uh, people who help to, to consult for organization and say, okay, what do we need to do to get this organization, organization back on track? Um, most of them agree. This is a, it's a common thing amongst them, that change must not be too fast, too quick, too sudden. You know, it must be gradual. You know, and he wanted to change a lot of things too quickly. You look at, look at, look at the, the, uh, the love gaffes, for instance, you said you want to uh, uh, sell Twitter Blue, all right? The blue tick. I'm verified on Twitter, and I knew I was not going to pay him any money. <laughs> he said people are going to have to pay for the blue tick, and then people started paying for the blue tick, and we're creating, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, parody accounts. So, if, for instance, maybe Plus TV. Someone going to write Plus TV Africa One, and get a blue tick. Now, if you have a blue tick, you're considered to be authentic, because that's the idea of Twitter. That if you have messed, I have two accounts on Twitter. Uh, Kofi Bartels and Kofi underscore Bartels, okay? And there are other Kofi Bartels is out there. For people to know that I, as a public uh, personality, uh, this is my authentic account, Twitter gave me a blue tick, verified. That's the idea. Now, if you sell the blue tick for $80, like he said, all right, and anyone can buy the blue tick, then how do people know who is who? So people started getting this blue tick for $80, called it Twitter Blue, and, 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 and they were opening fake accounts. And, you know, putting fake stuff up, you know, even some soft drinks. They were fake accounts. Now started promoting the brand of the, the arrival soft drinks. And it was, was weird. You know, so all these mistakes have come because Elon is an executive who takes decisions as a billionaire, you know, on his own. He's not used to having people sit down and take decisions for him. And that was what I said, if you remember from the beginning, it was going to be a problem. But let's move on. Uh, after we're taking so much time on that. Um, the last one is the fake uh, Naira notes in circulation, this new Naira notes. I don't know, can we roll the video? Do we have that? Um, someone recorded, a, 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 put out a video. This is a user-generated user content. He said he, he, he saw uh, some fake Naira notes and wanted to alert the public so, of these. So I think we have yeah. the video. We'll okay, so we're going to play that and roll the tape. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Fake money is in town now. People should be very careful. This is the original one. Why this is the fake one? My wife, she's doing POS. Somebody gave her this money, and we don't know who gave it to her. But we later discovered that it's a fake money. This is original, but this is the fake. It's the new 1,000 era. You can notice. You can notice this. This is the. This is. This is the original one. With this, 
why the fake one don't have it you can see it so people should be very very careful the bad guys are already in town now they are doing the fake one and you know what, what amazes me uh, when we talk about the bad guys already in town it feels like we imported some persons from another part of the world or you know uh, from another part of the planet mercenaries or bandits <laughs> <laughs> and so we just have people who we just brought in the bad guys around where are the bad guys that's the point that's what this is about but it's important to note uh, just as we you know progress in this line of conversation it's very very important to know that it's criminal and it's an economic sabotage for you to produce the note, the Naira, whatever it is, whatever denomination, whether it's 1,000, 2,000, no, I beg your pardon, 1,000, 200, 100, uh, you know, the list is almost endless right there. It's, you know, criminal to engage in that practice. But here we are, it's what we have talked about because of the redesign. When we talked about the redesign or the design, having a new note in circulation, I think that when this, you know, when the government came up with this policy and then they, you know, put out a picture of it, one of the issues that people talked about was um, the ability to identify. Now, up until this moment, I haven't seen the note, so I don't really know what it looks like, right? And I'm sure that that also might be a problem. Prior to this time, Kofi, you and I had a conversation and I was trying to tell you uh, in an illustration to just to make a point. I mentioned that over time, if you find out that um, the, you know, the FBI, not in Nigeria, of course the FBI in the US, uh, how did they get to identify that you have a, f a fake currency or a fake note, the dollar is fake? You know what they do? They expose you to the original. So constant exposure to the original makes it uh, very easy for you to identify the fake. And it, it, like I said, it's too criminal for this to happen. Just how many days? Four days into circulation and then we're hearing of issues of the fake, you know, um, narrow note. So the issue now is, if you look at it, how many persons have seen the currency? I haven't seen the currency. I haven't felt it. No, I haven't had the notes. No, I've not seen the new Naira that has been designed. And uh, imagine what happens if, you know, the fake gets to me. How do I identify that this is the original? So, yeah, that's, that's the issue. And these are some of the issues when we have, um, in terms of, you say you have a policy design, you need to understand the dynamics, you need to understand how this works. I think that we probably would have had, you know, a lot of time to create a work awareness, create a lot of awareness, sensitization, also give a lot of time, um, you know, to put this money in circulation. Now, if it's going to be in circulation, it should be in uniformity. There should be a uniform... Um, circulation of this currency because up until this time a lot of persons who haven't seen i mean there are also issues and reports from different quarters where some persons have rejected this as a means of transaction and would you blame them because <laughs> where is this coming from right but these are the issues so if you constantly expose a person to the original it's easy for them to identify the fake when the time comes now and if you haven't seen the original how do you now identify the fake is the question. So there's a lot that needs to be done. That's what I think. But it's also important that we understand that what we're doing is economic sabotage. Like I mentioned earlier on, these things are not done by spirits and yeah. the devil. From Mercy, anywhere, very, but, very quickly, but, <laughs> I said it not by, by the spirit, by spirit or devil. <laughs> Sorry. You know, it, it, it's funny. You know, um, remember what we discussed last time? And I think uh, one of the things I also said was that um, if people are going to have it um, difficult because right now we're hearing that people are rejecting this money. I think that's even more dangerous. For the gentleman who filmed that video, you know, I don't take anything I see on social media, you know, I don't accept it at first take. I, I probe, I ask questions. Can this person be, be peddling false information? I, 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 I want the gentleman who I wish he had told us where he got that money from. You know, you can, you can print that money. You can just put it in a computer. Okay? Uh, you have a quality printer. Are you not further helping? Excuse me, Messi. <laughs> no, yeah. I, I'm saying... You, you can put it in a well, computer, well, get the things people have snapped, you know, and then print it. Cut it. You know, shape it well and put it on a table. And say, oh, I have uh, people are peddling fake now. Or see fake now. See, maybe maybe because you, you are... You, you are the aide or the boy of one politician who is not going to... He's going to go through stress because of this. And they want to uh, spread public panic. 
for me, for me, I, 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 I don't know if anybody's. I, I, won't, I don't believe this. Okay, so Kofi, we need to go now let's, because we're let, out of let, time. Let's, let's let, have the gentleman tell us where he got the money from. No, no, so but but. And then let him reveal his identity. I hope he can. I hope he will. And then uh, let other people also say we saw the fake money. I'm not saying it's not possible, Mercy. Mm. It's possible, but for now. I'm just going to take it to the pin, with, a, with a pinch of salt. No, so, I mean, it's okay to yeah. take it with a pinch yeah, I'll, of salt. I'll That's what I was saying. Salt, but you, know, uh, yeah. you also cannot write out the fact. Well, while you were speaking, I was trying to stop you because it feels like you're giving ideas. Uh, no, no, it's, 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 it's not. If, no, so that's what I'm no, saying. No, no, I'm just saying that. Print, no, it's, it's not an idea. If you, if you print. That's what I'm excuse saying. Me, if you take an A4 paper and print this money and go and use to buy something, you're on your own because it doesn't look like money. <laughs> it's people. I'm saying for, for if you take a phone. To, to to film, you know, Ikea. So I'm but saying, that, I'm saying I, hope, I hope this is not fake news, but let's go on. So so what I'm saying is, we Imagine also this, fake news, fake news or fake naira. Uh, well, Misinformation, however yeah, you no, want to call it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, these yeah. are some of the issues. But we can also take out the fact that there's a tendency. It's highly possible to have, um, to recreate uh, this current. That's why I said it's then, possible. I said then, then, then if you, if you yeah. don't know, if that's you haven't been exposed to the original, I just so it becomes like very no difficult. Is, is it becomes very difficult for you to identify whether or not it's fake. That's what I'm saying. No, like no, for instance, no. that if I see the fake note, do you think I will know it? Kofi, I haven't seen the note. I haven't seen what okay, it looks so, like. So, no, you, you said already. That's why I didn't, yeah, I didn't, so, I, that's why I didn't go back to that. Yeah, just yeah, that's, that, that's uh, what I'm saying. I hope no one is, is trying to spread spread uh, mis misinformation. Well, we have to go now. Honestly, we have to go, Kofi. So, so you and I will do, a, 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 Mercy, we'll do a, a, an experiment. You're going to transfer some money to your card. We'll go to the ATM opposite the office. We'll draw the money. You give me maybe like two or three or four thousand naira so I can look at it to be sure. <laughs> All right, let's go on that break. I, I like your sense of humor. We'll That's really great. That's really great. Yes, uh, uh, we I have to go now. Thank you so much for being part of uh, the top trending segment. When we return, we'll be back with the paper review. Please stay with us. <laughs>